What is up, guys? Bolder here. Welcome back to more of our Conquest Capture Run. It is time for the stairs. We're gonna see about cheesing our way through it because of the stairs. Uh, but definitely gotta look at it before we actually make a game plan. In between, uh, we did pick up Chiaki and Kuromo from the last chapter. Uh, and I went to go do Valoria's chapter because it was just essentially grinding. It's all illusions. Nothing else there. Promo uh, got two skills. So that now has Darting Blow and Camaraderie. Um, but Chiaki, the monster that she is, was able to get all the way to a witch, get all of her skills that I wanted uh, just on that one map. She's kind of cracked. 27 magic, 24 speed, not bad. We got an extra Moonlight, so we have a Moonlight plus one. Warp at the ready. That lunge renewal, looking pretty good. But uh, let's head out. Chapter 21, the eternal stairway. Oh. See how this goes. I don't even remember like why it was all the Yago's doing, right? The little snake has slithered out of our grasp once more. How did that ragtag team manage to make it through the Wind Tri Village? One of their ranks should have lost a leg or at least an arm by now. That's, they should do that. Could you imagine like a, a fire where you lose a limb and you become a completely different class? <laughs> like instead of, of, of all, that just made me think of like, what if Roy instead of promoting just got worse? He loses his arm fighting Zephiel, and instead of promoting, well, he promotes right before that, but you know, like, nope. No promotion for you. They're all perfect health and high spirits. How utterly disappointing. King Garen must be furious. As his advisor, it is my duty to set things right. Luckily, their next stop is a fitting location for Oreo's fall from grace. <laughs> negative growth. I guess, yeah, yeah, that's negative growth. <laughs> The eternal stairway rumored to lead straight to hell. It's too perfect. I wonder how many friends and loved ones our little princess will lose there. Prepare to drown in your despair, Lady Oreo. Your king and I look forward to feasting upon your cries of agony. Though honestly, like, it, it could be kind of cool. Like, like take the, uh, the like, Jagan archetype, which is turned into, I guess, technically, Oifies or whatever. I don't know. Frederick, Seth. The, the monsters that you get early promotes in the game. Like, instead of giving them crap growths or something, like, have them suffer a severe accident or something and are permanently nerfed after a certain point, that could be really cool. I don't know that I trust intelligence systems to execute it well, but... That, like, idea could be really cool. So many stairs. Just a shot in the dark here. But is this the eternal stairway? Oh. It is. Once we make it through here, we'll be near the Hoshin Castle. Soldiers will undoubtedly be awaiting our arrival, but this path is our only option. To break through their numbers by sheer force of yeah. will. And so we shall. Well, let's get on with it. Um... And summon Dirk with all this talk, talking about the cripple system in Saga games. So wait, that's a thing? Oh, I guess Kaga <laughs> thought of it. Um, Attach the sword of seal Zora's arm used to be. Would that make him stronger? We've got trouble. Good old Felicia. Let me guess. Shin soldiers. Oh, um. Y yes, but I, I mean, no, it's a little. Oh boy. So the thing is, um. Unacceptable. Quiet, Felicia. Your stammering isn't helping anyone. Milady, we've scouted ahead as ordered. We found a great many Hoshin soldiers. All dead. The stairs up ahead are littered with their corpses. What was that? W what happened? Mm. We're not sure. They all appear to be healthy, strong warriors. Yet there's not a single survivor. It's awful to behold. Can't be. 
Perhaps Father sent another unit of Norian soldier ahead of us. Yeah. Highly unlikely, my lady. There's no way they could have passed us unnoticed. Passed us unnoticed. The only other route in Hoshino requires crossing the bottomless canyon. But they still would have had to circle back, so we still would have gotten here first. Not to worry. A tragedy, to be sure, but this works out quite nicely for us. Having our uh, enemy taken care of before we even arrive is a huge boon. We should take advantage of this and get going before more troops arrive. Yes. Agree. These soldiers would have fallen anyway. Better that it's not by our hands. Should be grateful that someone saved us the trouble of a tiring battle. I suppose, but... Huh? What's that sound? Like if Geralt was playable at the beginning of Three Houses. Cronia just gets rid of his girls instead of killing him. Yeah, there you go. That, that could have worked out. But yeah, no, we're still gonna get a tiring battle. True. Faceless here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, there are too many of them and they're headed right for us. Damn, so this is what uh, what befell those Hoshin soldiers. Must not let the same thing happen to us. Felicia, follow me. And look at him go. No use, there's too many of them. Everyone pull back, we can't win this battle. Can't leave, they got us surrounded. We're trapped. Oh father, did you really have to send quite so many of these beasties? No, this is no joking matter. I mean, <laughs> but it's not really a joke. If a father would dispatch as many faces to one location, there's more at play here than we know. Figure it out later. For now, we need to concentrate on making it out alive. All we can do is carve the faceless and head for the top of the stairs. Everyone, watch each other's backs. I won't lose any of them. I won't. Right. How you doing, Isaac? Feel weird that he wasn't playable past the tutorial. Well, he wasn't even playable there. He was he was still an ally in the tutorial. He was not playable anywhere in that game. Okay, um there's no one to steal from here, so Kumagera. Let's have a look see. Wait a minute. Wait, is that only Lunatic? Oh shit. The Stoneborn don't have the freeze thingy. I forgot that was a lunatic only thing. Oh, that makes it so much better. I was ready to just be full assault from getting frozen in place by Stoneborn. They still suck because they worry fighter, but oh, that's so much better. Uh, let's see. Freeze all enemies in place for one turn. Best way for us to get here. I'm still thinking I probably want to low man this. Like, uh, separate, because I don't want Oreo forward. I know there's just like groups of breakers. Actually, not 100% sure. Oh, no. The the eight movement. I need to wait one turn and then just try to new warp in. Let's see. Um, I 
I was gonna, I was looking into like, thinking about double rescue, but I need to deploy more units than I want to to do that. Still gonna have it on me. <sighs> Let's see. Listen. Rubble on this map is really hard to see, so I often can't see which path is blocked off. I did notice that. Like, I, I was like, I thought there were blockades. Yeah, well, there are, but they're not the most visible thing. They're visible on the bottom screen. Top screen, not as visible. It's a carefully order. We cannot possibly vanquish this by any faces. There's no end in sight. You must try to get past them as quickly as possible. Uh, oh wait, do I have the Blessed Lance? Something I would probably really want here. Let's see. How we, uh, how we look it. Not great. <laughs> the, uh, horse spirit. I'm gonna go here with the horse spirit. And we got a skill tonic. I completely forgot to even eat or do tonics or any of that. I just went out of this map as soon as possible. The take a blessed spear for the killer. They buff Stoneborn range and hard, or can they move? I don't remember. I don't think it's buff. They don't have the freeze thing either way, and that just makes me happy. But I don't know if they can move. It looks like they can. Hoping you just walk. Oh, because impassable. I hate that shit. Um. Might reset already. <laughs> My plan. Out of the rocks. Hold on, let me. Actually, on these guys really sucks too, for whatever reason. I would like to be here on turn two. And I think I can try to figure out a way to do that. Let's see here. The Lunatic Stoneborn have freeze, yeah. Treat this like the Kitsune map. I mean, that's always an option, I guess, too. Uh, just instead of a beast killer, the... Well, I don't know how I feel about doing that here because all the savage blow bullshit. I haven't given out boots. Um, Koromo, we're far enough in the game. I don't know the only part that Koromo... Inoka's map would have a better Karoma, you know. I 
me start Chromo with uh, the Blessed Lance. Listen. Appreciate the kind words, Isaac. I run up the center. Okay. I could kill this guy if I had a strength tonic. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking of backing out immediately. Get a strength tonic. Then we one shot this guy. Then I can warp up. I don't know. You know what? Let me see. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Maybe we'll get a 7% crit too. Oh yeah, I forgot we gave out all the accessories. We got chef hat. No, you're chef hat! Are you gonna knock it off immediately like that? And then we missed the second one. That was fantastic. Okay, uh. Berserker's Axe, Adamant Club. Ugh. I was like, do we have any crit things? We do, but not with good might. Berserker's Axe. I just wanted to see what our damage was against this guy. Of course we do crit, but we're almost not gonna live this enemy phase. So... Magara being here should be fine as an alternative, but... Let's see. Probably one. Grab. They do move. On asked that before. Didn't know the answer. Yes. They do move. Right. Yeah, hit rate. I don't know if that guy had a sword breaker. I don't know where our hit rate is on this map. I know everything here has like a breaker. Okay, so let's make use of the cafeteria. Mess hall, rather. I'm thinking I might want to eat, let's see. I'm gonna use tonics as well. Again, maybe double up on defense, because these things are hitting really hard. Do what rice and what's the other defense one? Rice and wheat. Nice rice sandwich. Crisp flare. What is a crisp flare? Oh. Res. Well, that doesn't help, but okay, thank you. Uh, hop over to the staff store. And let's see. Four of those. Three of those. Two of those. One of those. Don't need reds. Okay. Eat them up. I 
think I had this. You know, we're good. Okay, magic. There we go. Alright. <laughs> it just got it. We forgot to take our Flintstones gummies, you know? Eat our daily vitamins. Left the house without them. We had to go uh, remedy that. All right, let's see how this goes before I think about giving Koromo boots. Is doing so actually, let's see. One, two, oh, I need three, huh? Unless, do I own anyone? Uh, oh, I mean, yes. I was thinking, okay. I can give two boots to Koromo that gives her 10 movement, and she could get here if she gets shoved. So the thought was, maybe I have a unit whose only purpose is to shove me on turn one and then die. He will not leave this map, but I'm pretty sure the only unit we have to do that is our axe boy from the start. And I don't know that I want him to go out like that. Start one more to the left. She can. I don't know if that would... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Actually, with two boots, one more to the left. Yeah. Can straight up make it here. Um, fairly dangerous spot, but I can make it there. Send me to That's I couldn't remember his name. Yeah. Send him to the farm. We would just have to survive, but also get out afterward. Because warp, I can just go wherever, wherever Koromo is. I can just warp there. I, I think I'm going to need to... Go from here first. See, yeah, there's perfect kill. Still painful. Even with all the, the buffing we did. It'd be great to dodge it, but of course we don't. And it might not be good enough. We still might take too much damage on enemy phase. Plus, Lance also debuffs too heavily. Oh, does it? Oh, you're right. The highest crit, 19 horse spirit, 27, 32, but that's not a kill. Monkey spirit, berserker's axe. I guess 28 from monk. Well, actually, three, what, four, 54? That would kill if we crit. We don't, you know, <laughs> but, you know, we, we could have. Okay. Renewal, rather. I always want to call it relief.
wondering if maybe I want to swap, have maybe Oreo with Oromu here, so that I can attack the Stoneborn with Kumagera. Because Kumagera should be able to just straight up kill. Also, the... I want elixirs. Because we live that, so I'm just gonna run away. Like, I don't, I don't plan on sitting there and clearing that out. I just want to go. Imagine if these guys had the monster mechanics for three houses, which you mean like the AoE attack? A great club shenanigans to just know you. Let's see, thinking about the boots. Boots in this scenario. Get to here and still not looking great. I mean, I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen. Like, uh, uh, I'm gonna continue this attempt. I'm very curious on how this is gonna play out. Okay, counter magic, I think your time has come. You have served us kind of okay. <laughs> but that's Strength Taker. We take that. Oh, and it immediately pops, too. Um... Moonlight, yeah. I don't want to swap the Oreo. I'm just hoping I don't get hit by the 60, but I probably will, because why wouldn't I not? Yep. Oh my god. Do you have Axe Breaker? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a savage blow. Well, I probably need to stock up on as many elixirs as I possibly can. It still might not be good enough. I'm with you. And moonlight's only when I initiate. Dodge? No? Okay. And that was like a 70-ish, probably, with true hit, but... Feels like ass getting hit by those hit rates. Ugh. Okay. Uh. So. Let's swap. It's like there was something I was 
mentioning, I don't remember. I want these two together. Let me look at my units. Um, oh, we don't have him anymore. I guess we, we had to send him to the void anyway. He was sent to the farm. He's in the logbook, but he's not back here. So I don't have a shove sacrifice, regardless of how you look at it. like Oreo is shove but good work what's the rescue range I just do one boot and a shove. Swap would be better, actually, but... Then I gotta bring Hitaka to the map, and then that's an extra person I gotta try to get out of here. If I bring Hitaka, I should bring someone else with him. It might be worth trying. I talk in Tankred. He's not tonic up like everyone else currently. But I could swap, compare Oreo and Romo, swap, and then. I could attempt to rescue Itaka up. Warp up with Chiaki and Kumagera. That gets us all the way up here. This guy is going to be a problem. Um, there's a lot of shit that can attack us over there, though. I don't even know if I'll live. Down to just try it. Just see what happens. Itaka has a Blessed Lance. Listen. We have him in... Two. One here and one here. Oh, wait, I need to actually give the boots. <laughs> That's part of this plan. Can't get where I want without at least one boot. Not gonna save with it, just in case. Decides to not be the way to go. To... It's an A6. You should die. Okay. Get Strength Taker back. Okay, I need you to kill these things so they're not hitting me with Savage Blow. You have the crit to do it. Thank you. Get 
He has enough defense. Yeah, I was thinking, like, he didn't get the defense level this time. Hoping it doesn't really matter. Oh, fuck off, are we dying because of Savage Blow? Come on, it's 61, don't get hit by that. Thank you. Are we done? We are not. I was like, yeah, they, they don't even have to do any damage to me. As long as they attack me and don't die in return, I get hit with Savage Blow. Oh, ass. Come up here. What do we got? Homebreaker. So close. We are so close. I think I have an elixir. Yep. But I need to rescue. Look at that. Hitaka didn't even get attacked. It's just Savage Blow, but I'm all the way down to 18. No one attacked him. Savage Blow enemy only? Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, oh yes. Yes, it is. But this unit initiate. <clears throat> oh, unless you mean like an enemy only skill. No, no, no. It's like, yeah, it's on Malignite. thinking like could I eat a turn to try to get my bearings not really The Dragon Rain freezes everyone? Yes. Enemy. Well, that would... Let's see. Doing so... Rocks are, yeah, they're wonderful. Still gonna be hit by two rocks. One elixir. Only 20, 20 is not good enough. I think we might need to buy as many elixirs as possible spam those along the way.
40. Why do you, oh, you have massive rock. I was like, why does this guy do so much more damage? I mean, 37 is still a lot. This guy does 43 attack. Uh... Ooh, rescue RNG. <laughs> Another thing about this. Will you go above me or to the left of me? Right of me, rather. Not where I want. There's that. But, um... Is... Romo dodging the world. That's where we're at. <laughs> I don't think... Th this definitely is not gonna be the one. I wonder, Mjolnir, we have D rank. I wonder if I can wield Mjolnir yet. It might be a C. It's like a crit tome for Chiaki. I try to one-shot these guys. Help a lot as well. Can I dodge that, please? No? All right. Well, that's like pretty much 100% a lot. Like, we dodge anything. No. Okay. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Tancred, but it is too late, bud. This would have played out. Yeah, fantastic level too, yeah. This one we get hit by a 46, right? No, okay, we actually dodged something. Wait, are you standing on my exit? Bitch. I, I'm thinking about Koromu, right? There is another Falcon Knight in the prison right now. <laughs> we also just gave the Pegasus Knight boots, yeah. We're about to lose Lilith, but the Pegasus girl will be the real loss. Like, the unique part about her was she had Axe Breaker. She'd gotten some pretty solid levels, too. Um... Uh, 
Uh, oh, and she also had B rank in Lances, where the one in the prison has C rank in Lances. Maybe your sacrifice won't be in main moment. Yeah, because I, I think I can win. Like, I run Oreo up here, I hit the Dragon Vein, and then I'm pretty much set to leave. Assuming leaving works like I think it's gonna work. I don't think it will, though. Whenever you leave grouped up in this game, do both units leave? That's the real question. Because if that's the case, we got it. If not, we're still not safe. Yes? All right. I think we're just gonna spend the boots or RW to get out of this map. I hate this map so much. <laughs> okay, so that's your range. And I, I can get out of it, so I don't even have to worry about you. I do want to kill this guy, though. Believe should be possible. Uh, maybe. Should be possible. It's 86. Come on, Kumagera. Thank you. Is it a massive rock? It is a massive rock. But we we take one at the very least. We're fine. Romo, we bestow upon you the highest of honors, the necessary sacrifice. Yeah. Thank you, Karoma. God, imagine if the reinforcements came in right here. <laughs> you know how upset I would be? <laughs> MVP heroes, nobody. Correct, nobody wins on this map. There really is no end in sight. Uh, what actually determines the MVP? I think kill. Which, Kumagera killed at least, like, four of them, maybe even five, and still wasn't good enough. Yeah. I'm okay, Azura. I'm not sure we'll be able to make it up the stairs like this. Unbelievable. They still seem to be concentrating their attacks on you, Oreo. I've never seen anything quite like it. Listen. Oreo, go on, a go on ahead while we fend them up. It's an order. Huh? But no, I won't leave you. Not enough. You're our leader, uh, Oreo. Think with your head, not your heart. No matter what happens to us, you mustn't fall here. All of Nora's counting on you. Leave this mess to us and get out of here. We'll buy you enough time to escape. I won't say it again, little princess. As the crown prince of Nora, my word is law. Go, now. No. Sandra, I can't just leave you to... I can't let you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get your paralog in, then we kill you. Uh. Like, it's open. We just need to go get that experience and kill you at the same time. We're to end this war and bring peace to the world. We can't let you die here. You're the fated hero, Oreo. The Yato chose you for a reason. So please trust us. Get out of here while you still can. Go on. Hey, I trust you, and I will do as you say. We will meet again. We must. Until then, goodbye. I do it, Narzi. It's sciencing in the map, yeah. 
It worked, but R.I.P. <laughs> Koromo. Finally made it up the eternal stairway. Yoshido is just ahead. Hope everyone is alright. Please, gods, let them be alright. And... The fish. Lilith, why? Why'd you risk your life for me? This can't be happening. Hang in there, Lilith. <gasps> Lilith, you're... Oh. In the Astral Dragon, Mauro has taken pity on me. He's chosen to let me return to my human form for my last few... No. Lilith, don't you dare say it. I've rebid it. You weren't allowed to die, Lilith. Please, I need you to live. I'm sorry. Who else are we gonna force feed milk to? Sorry, milady, but the first and last time, I... For the first and last time, I can't follow your orders. Be, uh, but please, don't be, don't cry, Jesus. <laughs> Dyslexia, making this so hard. I'm so grateful I was able to protect you. It's only fitting, after all you saved my life too, all those years ago. More than saving me, you gave me a place to call home, a family, someone to, I'll never forget all of our happy memories together. I die without regret. Well, don't go. We, we've come so far. The war is nearly won. My bowels have been, obliter been obliterated. Well, there's just been lactose intolerant this whole time. We said no. You will drink this milk. Don't make me say goodbye. Please, don't cry. don't cry. Let me see you smile once more. I've always adored you, Oreo. You've been so much to me. Keep me in your heart, and I'll, I'll always be with you. Lilith? Lilith! I don't know why it, the thought of, you know, finding Nemo, the scary girl with the braces, screaming about her fish being flushed down the toilet. That's just this scene. <laughs> why, gods, why? Why does someone as pure as Lilith have to die that I might live? How can I go on knowing she's dead because of me? More now, but <sighs> oh, welcome back. Everything's okay. It's all right, Oreo. We're at your side once more. Xander, you're alive. Truly, it's been a whole five minutes. It's thanks to Xander's incomparable skill, we somehow made it out alive. Your Sardo kept you waiting. So happy to see you both. I'm so sorry. But Lilith, she. What's happened? Why is she? No, please no. You save me from the faceless. Get another life lost because of me. I only want to end this war and stop all the death and destruction, and yet, look at this. There is no time for tears. Pull yourself together, Oreo. There's no time for tears. Crying will not bring her back, nor is it what she would have wanted for you. Listen. I know this sounds harsh, but there's nothing you can do. Crying into misery and blaming yourself will not change anything. Will have paid the ultimate price because she believes in you. Do we all? Do not tarnish the beauty of her sacrifice by letting it cloud your judgment. This is a war. If you let one death stop you from fighting with all your heart, you will not prevail. Do you really wish for her to have died in vain? For your sorrow to put those of us who remain in danger? No, oh, but it hurts so much. The final showdown is still to come. This is just the beginning. There's a good chance that more of us will die in the battles that lie ahead. At least, Leo, Camilla, if any of us die in the days ahead, you must keep fighting. We already kill all of them. <laughs> uh, I mean... Well, dying would have been more sad if she wasn't just a fish dragon. It was, like, it was a real character. Like, she deserved to be. At this point, all of this could just as easily be replaced with, like, Kor uh, Koromu. <laughs> our, our lost Pegasus Knight it would feel the exact same you waver your troops will waver too not allow that to happen she who wields the legendary Yato that is your divine responsibility so dry those tears little princess there's work to be done Big brother. 
mother. <laughs> the Pegasus was the bird we nursed. It all comes back. Fight without fear or hesitation. It will lead this world into the light. Huh? No fear or hesitation, but how, Xander? How do you do it? Hmm. By searching your soul and finding strength in your resolve. That is how. No matter what happens, don't ever stop fighting. Isn't that what Lilith would want? Yeah. You're right. As always, before she died, Lilith told me not to cry for her, but to smile instead. I know it would upset her to see me like this. For her, I will carry on. Thank you, brother. I feel much better now. I promise not to waver, no matter what. I see. That smile Lilith was so keen to see. I'm proud of you, little sister. Now, back to the task at hand. We cannot afford to stall here forever. Understood. Lilith, we're going to lay you to rest now, but then we must keep pressing forward. I'll see you on the other side, my friend. We'll ride horses and chat about all the good times you've had since we last met. I'm sorry to leave you in this place, but the path to peace is finally within reach. From here, we're a stone's throw away from the Oshin Castle. It won't be long now. Please, keep watching over me, old friend, just like you always did. I hope you know how much I love you, and that I always will. Goodbye, Lilith. This whole scene is just the main character's zero stamina. Yeah. <laughs> As an excuse. And she dies from a faceless, the most generic of enemies. Yeah. And it, like, if we go and look at Lilith's stats, there's no way one faceless kills her. Little flying rat died, did she? I always did despise Lilith. Oh, that what an annoying way to go, protecting her master from a rightful torment. If it weren't for her intervention, I could have made Oreo suffer even more. Ah, uh, well, at least that's one less shield for her to hide behind. Just leave the body there. Uh, they mentioned layer to rest, so I'm assuming they put a grave like pile of rocks at the stop at the top of the steps or something but it's still you know kind of a shitty like you're supposed to bring the soldiers back uh just leave them where they fall a viking funeral in a pool filled with milk truly what she would have wanted for Aureo, I've only just begun digging your pit of despair. Soon you will find yourself lost in this infinite darkness for all eternity. Your time is nearly up, false princess. Enjoy your last moments of joy. There should be enough milk in the convoy. All right. But now we just play magician, you know, the, the age old, I'm pouring milk into my top hat. Where does it go? Nobody knows. Is she 25 speed and 19 defense? She could take that. Uh, but that is it. The Stairmaster is complete at the cost of Kromu, but we can just grab another. Uh, oh, oh, and Niles is here too? Yukari. You're you're the next up. Oh, that look. Two's company. Such a tease. No? Well, get in here anyway. <laughs> Alright. Well. That is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye.